Dierking, the FCC is issuing a warning tonight about a new robocalling phone scam. It's one of thousands of crimes that are bilking Americans for billions of dollars every year. Local 12's David Winter is looking into what's being done to fight that problem, including efforts from an Ohio congressman. Currently, if you're a homeowner, this will only take a few minutes of your time. If you are still suffering from chronic pain and want oh, information oh, 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 on oh, oh, the calls are endless. These are just from my phone in the last week alone. I even have a blocker on my phone called True Caller, but it does not stop the calls from streaming in. Over half the calls that will be being made into this and, and across the country will be some kind of a robocall. Ohio Congressman Bob Latta is not overstating the issue. It's why he's introducing a bill that would force the FCC to allow phone companies to block unverified calls, force the FCC to partner with phone companies to trace and track the sources of robocalls, and force phone companies to automatically provide free robocall blocking technology from which consumers would have to opt out. What we find is that a lot of people, if it's an opt-in, don't opt in. So we want to have a, uh, a no charge to the consumer on an opt out basis. And the calls are not just annoying, they can be expensive. The FCC just this weekend put out a warning about a new robocall scam that's called One Ring. The system lets the phone ring once on your phone. If you call back to see who it was, you are actually calling Sierra Leone. Yes, in Africa. And you get charged for the call. Harris Poll research shows that in 2016 alone, 25 million Americans were scammed out of nearly $9 billion. Today was a big day for consumers like me who are sick of unwanted robocalls. The chairman of the FCC says robocalls are the number one complaint he gets from consumers, 3 million complaints in 2018. One of the biggest issues people have is spoofing, where scammers trick you into answering a call that you think is from someone you know because they use your area code and prefix, or they actually hijack a number of someone you know. And we've demanded that the phone industry develop a system to authenticate or verify that a call is from the person making it. The FCC set a deadline for caller ID authentication by the end of the year. It's also offering these three consumer tips. Don't answer calls you don't recognize, don't give out personal information over the phone, and don't give money to people via wire or gift card if they claim to be from the government, because the police and the IRS, for instance, will never ask you to send money in these ways. Please press 9 now to complete the qualification process and update me. And this is the U-Mail robocall index. In April of 2019 alone, 4.9 billion robocalls were placed. That's 2,000 per second. And yes, while I was writing this story this afternoon, I received two robocalls, one on my personal cell, one on my business cell. The one on my business cell was trying to uh, sell health insurance to me from 513-617. That is my area code and my prefix. Yes, spoofing. And the FCC, by the way, just a few months ago, fined a company $82 million for that exact scam. Not sure whether it helped much. Reporting live from the newsroom, David Winter, Local 12 News. So, David, really, the only thing we can do is not answer the phone, right? Not answer a call we don't recognize. Yeah, that, that is exactly what the FCC is recommending. And the problem is that it really renders your phone a little bit useless because then you've got to check and see who was the call and call back. It is a huge inconvenience. Agreed. Thanks very much. Good story. A common robocall scam involves fake debt collectors. Maybe you've had that. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau provides advice on spotting these crooks. Ask for a callback number, name and street address for the debt collector. Look for all that information online. Then call back, making sure the number is real, even if you care to even mess with it. Never pay anything until you receive written notice from the collection agency. And if you still have questions, contact the original creditor and and find out if they transferred your debt to a specific agency. If you have trouble with the bill collector, file a complaint under the Local 12 Investigates tab at local12.com. One of our trained call for action volunteers will get in touch with you and help you out.